Hello. Good evening. How are you? Thank you for being on time. Hi, teacher. Hi, Sergio. How are you? I'm fine. It's so good, and you? I'm doing good, too. Thank you for asking. Sure. All righty. Right now, we are five people. I will give everyone a few minutes to join. And while we are waiting for everyone, six already. Nice. Okay. I will start by sharing my screen as usual, as you know we do. Today is Tuesday, so we are almost there. This is basically the middle of our week because it ends on Thursday. Alrighty. So while we wait for everyone to join, um, we'll do a little review of what we um, studied yesterday, which was have or get about services. Having someone do your hair, getting someone to do your hair, right? We learned that in the active voice, we need to use the infinitive form of the verb. Let's do the review on that. So, active voice. I want to have someone do my hair. Or using get, this is have. Using get, I want or want to, right? Same thing. Get someone to do my hair. Right? Here I have a question for you. <laughs> yes. Have you done the TOEFL in some time? Have I done what? Have you done the TOEFL in some time? Oh, yes, I have. I did. I did do it many years ago, but I did do it. Why? Do you want to do that it? kind of difficult it is? So, um, I feel personally that the most difficult part about the TOEFL test was that um, it's not really, um, how can I say this? It's not really a grammar test. It's not really a pronunciation test. It's not really a knowledge check. Let's call it that. It's not a knowledge check, but instead, you get this scenarios, right? You get little um, paragraphs with um, situations. And from these situations, you need to find out the error or what's missing. Entonces, lo que sucede con el TOEFL es que um, realmente no es una pregunta de sí o no o de escoger la opción correcta, sino, um, y estas son algunas secciones, right? You have different sections. You have a listening section, you have a reading section and a writing section. So for me, la lectura no era solo como leer y, y responder algunas preguntas, sino realmente de esa lectura basada en el contexto. Um, understanding what was incorrect. Y no son cosas muy obvias, right? A veces son cosas de gramática que um, simplemente la oración anterior no tenía nada que ver con la que se estaba leyendo. Entonces, eh, realmente es de hacerlo con mucha paciencia, uh, con, 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 con mucha lentitud, ponerle atención. Creo que es una prueba tricky, um, it's not really difficult, pero sí está diseñada así como para hacernos dudar. So, but it was fun. I took, it took me about an hour and a half 
por ahí. Yes, because I know that they give four hours, I guess, but I don't know how many questions are there or what they have to do. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly, how many questions it had. It was long. <laughs> it was um, several pages. It was, I want to say, I want to say that it was maybe, maybe around six or eight pages long, mm -hmm. six or eight pages. And then the, the writing part, you had to write down, I think it was 200 to 400 words. Mm -hmm. So that also takes, takes a while. It's, 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 it's interesting. It's, it, it's cool that you get in. Um, the scoring system is based on colors. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. No. Okay, que la prueba del TOEFL, they score it in colors. So mm -hmm. you will get a grade, like they will tell you how many points you got, pero realmente no hace mucho sentido a ah, te sacaste. 472 puntos, right? It doesn't really make sense. Um, so they do a, let me see if I can find it. Let's see if we can find it. Tuffle. Tuffle, boy, Tuffle. Oh my God. Is it Tuffle? Is it Tuffle? Yeah, Tuffle, there we go. Tuffle results. No, you know what? Yo me estoy equivocando. Creo que el TOEIC es el que va en colores. I'm not sure. Uno de esos dos. I did both of them. Hice el TOEIC e hice el TOEFL. Um, pero el más grammar heavy, sí, es el TOEIC, miren. Yep. So this is how they score the TOEIC test. Y el TOEIC realmente ustedes lo van a hacer así. El TOEFL, um, I did it because I wanted to teach and I wanted to um, have like a certification of grammar. Y el TOEIC, por ejemplo, si ustedes se quieren ir a estudiar a Estados Unidos o a Canadá, les van a pedir un TOEIC o un equivalente al TOEIC que es mostly um, verbal English and it proves that you are able to communicate in English. So, sí, este es el que va en colores. So, yeah. So, what? Are you, are you thinking about taking the test? Uh, in the university, they mentioned something about it. Nice, nice. That's cool. And all right, what do you um do you know when you're going to take it, or you just you're just thinking about it? I'm just thinking about it because I I consider myself a cap couple to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um. But it's great. It you sounds know. pretty hard. Um, but you can do it. I mean, um, you can prepare for it if you're, um, if the university will provide it to you, that's great. Um, other places you need to pay for it. So if the university will provide it for you, I would say go for it. Um, and then you will know how, what it is, right? It's great. All right, so we are 16 people. Ya estamos 16 personas. Hello, everyone. Good evening to everyone. I hope that you are. Hi. Hope you are doing great. How are you today? Good, very good. Thank you. Nice, nice. I'm doing good too. All righty. Today is. 
I don't know if you listen to me because I right now I have a problem with my internet. I don't know why. Maybe I. Yeah, you know what? I do see that you froze. Can me pueden escuchar bien o me estoy trabando? Ahorita me escuchan o me estoy trabando? Or can you hear me well? Hello, Hello my teacher. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Gracias. No los escuchaba y pensé que será, seré yo, seré yo, señor. Okay. All right. Uh, your um, connection is not good, I, I think. I don't know. Could be, could be. Uh, um, avísenme porfa si me estoy trabando ahorita o si me escuchan bien. I have a problem, but I don't know if my internet. No, teacher, pero por momentito si se traba. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is si en algún momento en la explicación o algo me trabo, please let me know. ¿Cómo? Perdón. Ooh, what was that? What happened? All right. Si no me escuchan o me trago o algo, please let me know. Interrumpen, let me know, and we can repeat it. All right. Si se traba. Okay. Si se traba. Let's see. Is dropping. All right. Give me one second. Denme un momentito so we can try to fix it. The audio and video. Okay. Denme un momentito para intentar solucionarlo. Una pregunta, ahorita sin el video me corto mientras estoy hablando? ¿El video se corta? Sometimes. Ahorita no. Better, teacher. No. Better. Is that better? No, it's better. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So what we are going to do is I'm not going to have my camera on. Creo que todos estamos conscientes que the past few days we've all had some internet issues so i'm just going to keep my camera turned off um and if i'm still freezing like my voice is still chopping off you can let me know okay
Hello. So I reset my Wi-Fi connection. Oh, okay. Um, can you hear me right now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. yes, we can. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you see the video? Is it chopping off? Is it good? Yes. 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 It's okay. All right. All right. So we will continue. And if I start to chop off, please let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So going back to the topics, going back to the agenda, right? So okay. yesterday we mm -hmm. were talking about have or get about yes. services, right? Mm -hmm. So we reviewed that we can say these things in the active voice or in the passive voice using have or using get. When I'm using have, I can say I want to have someone do my hair. So this is the regular form of the verb, right? And if I'm using get, I will use the verb in the infinitive form. So I want to get someone to do my hair. Okay. Right? Yes. Now, when we're using the passive voice, we will kind of um, turn the sentence around and I want to have my hair done, right? Mm -hmm. And we yeah. will use- By someone, but it is optional. Exactly. And optionally, we can say, I want to have my hair done by someone. Mm -hmm. Or I want to get my hair done by mm -hmm. someone. In el caso del passive voice, no necesitamos usar el verbo en infinitive. That is just for the active voice. All right. Okay. So before we move on to our next topic, does anyone have any questions with have and get with active and passive voice for services? Hmm, it's okay. For me, it's okay. Right? Is everyone good? Yes, it's fair. It's fair. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty. So we will leave that here just to come back to it in case that we need it. And today we are going to start reviewing phrasal verbs. Remember, we were talking. Um, about it yesterday, how these are just uh, expressions that are used and specifically a verb plus another word that can be an adjective, it could be a preposition, it can be an adverb. Mm -hmm. And we will start by reviewing the platform and the lesson 4.3 and 4.4 about three word mm -hmm. phrasal verbs. We have two okay. word phrasal verbs like this one. I have, oops, that's not it. That's not for you. We have two word phrasal verbs like this one. Break down, bring up, back down, blow up. These are two words, right? Break the verb plus an adjective, mm -hmm. break down. Okay. And okay. what we will start reviewing I do have some vocabulary for you. So two word phrasal verbs are very common. I have lots of vocabulary today. Okay. Nope, that's not for you. Okay, but this one's are. <laughs> this one, this one, and this one. And mm -hmm. we will start reviewing the three word phrasal verbs. So before we go into the three word phrasal verbs, let's review some of the two word phrasal verbs that we have, right? Okay, okay. Okay. In previous classes, we have um, used phrasal verbs, for example, in sentences like this one, my television broke down. Oops, here, okay. my television broke down, right? Meaning that it, Stop it working, right? It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So we have more 
and three silvers like that one we have bring up and I will have uh, some volunteers read an example for me. So who wants to read bring up and read this example? Okay, bring up. He brought up other matter in our conversation. And that <clears throat> means to mention something, right? So mm -hmm. if I bring it up, I am mentioning, mm -hmm. I am talking about it and I am adding it to the conversation. I am adding that topic. Who mm -hmm. wants to read back down? Who wants to do back down? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. She never backs down. She never backs down, meaning she never ceases. She never stops, right? Mm -hmm. Until she mm -hmm. does whatever she wants to do. Yes. Who wants to do blow up? Can I? Please. Yes. Blow up the TNT. Blow up the mine. Exactly. Thank you so much. The TNT blew up the mine. So um, what's interesting about blow up in tiempos modernos <laughs> um, is we can say that mm -hmm. Um, those news blew up, meaning they went viral, right? Mm -hmm. Or went popular. So when something blows up, it can mean um, exploding, like TNT, like explosives, like mm -hmm. the literal definition. But mm -hmm. you can also say that those news blew up or that artist is blowing up, meaning it's becoming popular, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. That's another way to say it. Okay. We have more of them. These are 15 phrasal verbs that you use every day or that you probably would use every day, words um, or phrasal verbs as simple as wake up, no? Mm -hmm. These are things that you learn how to say when you are learning how to talk about your day. And sometimes we don't even know that they are phrasal verbs, but they are. So a verb mm -hmm. plus a preposition, an adverb or an adjective, that's a phrasal verb, right? Okay. And then, algo que yo les quería compartir is that phrasal verbs are not rules, right? So they are expressions. Mm -hmm. Lo hemos dicho varias mm -hmm. veces. And in the same way that you can use a phrasal verb, as um, we've mentioned sometimes or most of the time, they are casual words, right? Casual expressions. We can also look for a more, um, a more formal word, or maybe you need to write an email mm -hmm. and you want a more professional word. Aquí hay algunos sinónimos de cosas que podemos decir. Make up. So if I say that I need to make up an answer or I need to make up an excuse, right, before tomorrow, I could also say I need to invent an excuse. Mm -hmm. Y decir invent es una palabra un poco más formal, un poco más for the written or maybe a professional environment, um, turning down. So digamos que ustedes son reclutadores or you're looking for, you're looking to hire someone. So mm -hmm. instead of saying, I turn down the candidate, you could say, I rejected the candidate, right? Mm -hmm. Veamos otro ejemplo. Who wants to help me say, I will write down a sentence and you can tell me what the different way to say that would be. 
I want to come back to the office next month. Who wants to help me write this sentence using one word instead of the phrasal verb? It's number three. I want to. Um, mm -hmm. I want to return mm -hmm. to the office next month. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I want to return to the office next month. Y esto no es obligatorio, right? You don't need to change this, but mm -hmm. this are just this is me just giving you some vocabulary in case you want to sound more formal or you want to use just one word, you know, instead of two. These are just examples. Let's do one more. Let's see, who wants to do number four? Uh, they put off the meeting, the 12 o'clock meeting. Oh my God, there we go. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? How would you say that? Whoever wants to do it. They postpone the 12 o'clock meeting. That's right. They postponed the 12 o'clock meeting. Hey, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. I had lunch. That actually happened to me today. I had a meeting at 12 o'clock and I was like, man, I don't want to have lunch too late, but I'm not hungry. It was like 11, 11.30 at the time. I'm not hungry right now, but I don't <laughs> want to have lunch. I don't want to have lunch at like 1.30. The meeting was going to be like an hour or an hour and a half long. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I really don't want to wait until that time, but I'm not hungry right now. And then like 15, I, I, I had already given up. Okay. I already, I had already given up. Um, oh. And then like 15 minutes, like 11.45, they were like, hey, we're not having the meeting. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, that's great. So, all righty. So any questions that you have with this? This is just some additional vocabulary. And we reviewed some two word phrasal verbs, really I, usual I, ones. I have a one question. Yes. Uh, and the second one, the, no, and the number one is, is reject in the past, in reject the candidate. And the third one is the they postponed in the, the 12. But in the second one is I want to return, it's not in the past. Yeah, it's not in the past for number two because the original sentence is not in the past. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I got it because uh, the office takes months. No, I, yes, yes, I got it. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need to change it. It just depends on the original sentence. Yes. Alrighty. Hey, teacher, could you help me with one doubt? Yeah. Okay. In the um, phrase helper, Number one, makeup. I've heard an expression uh, uh, like this, uh, make up your mind. Oh. So what's the difference between uh, this expression and this phrasal verb, please? Absolutely. Thank you so much for your question. So make up your mind. So meaning decide, right? You need to decide. You kind of, kind of, you need to decide, you need to pick something, right? So if we are talking about making up instead of inventing, we could say that in this case, making up or make up, we also mean coming up with something, right? So if I'm saying, um, I need to make up an excuse before tomorrow. Necesito, you could say, necesito inventarme, like if we were translating it, or I need to come up with something. De la misma manera que decimos make up your mind. So I'm saying, so come up with what you want to do or come up with what you want to decide. Meaning you need to, um, 
decide on something, realmente no es una diferencia, sino que se está ocupando de diferente manera la expresión de make up. So, um, if I'm saying I need to make up an excuse, I need to come up with an excuse. Sería otra manera de decirlo. You need to make, uh, make up your mind. You need to come up with the answer or you need to decide on what you want. Viene a ser la misma expresión de you need to invent or decide. Thank you. Awesome. That's a great expression. Anyone else? Any other questions, observations, or comments? I, I, yes. Um. I, I I want to understand. Okay. It's simple. I can use make up or invent, turn down or read it, come back or return, put off mm -hmm. or postpone. Simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank that's you. that's great. Okay. Excellent. Gracias. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All right. Teacher, awesome. I have a question. Yes. Uh, so, sometimes sometimes uh, we use to write or to say that something and in makeup, for example, <laughs> and makeup uh, with. Um, when when it's a noun makeup is um como maquillaje um, right. in this case in is the we use uh, only with a bird only the bird yeah so in this case um we are using it as a verb as a phrasal verb right so you were absolutely right. And that's a great example. That's a good example. We have makeup, like lipstick, right? Omi is talking about makeup as a noun, which is lipstick, you know, uh, mascara, uh, eyeshadow, and all of that. And then makeup, the phrasal verb. So how do you differentiate it? ¿Cómo lo diferenciamos? Context. Context. Uh, okay. Why? Because we will have, okay, let's use make up your mind, right? Mm -hmm. You need to make up your mind. Si escuchamos esa oración, sabemos que alguien nos está diciendo, hey, you need to make up your mind. You need to decide on something, right? Diferente sería si alguien nos dice, mm -hmm. Okay, hey, your, your makeup is nice. Ahí mm. comprendemos por el contexto de la oración que pues makeup, they're talking about my makeup, right? How I look, well, how it looks on my face. My makeup is nice. Hey, thank you. So it depends on context. Sobre todo cuando estemos hablando, um, since we're paying attention to what the other person is saying, we will know that it's not a phrasal verb, that it's a noun, that they're talking about my makeup because it's not following any verb, right? It's not following any other thought. They're talking about my makeup. It's a thing. Así lo diferenciaríamos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Already, any other words so far? Any other words? Oh my god, any other questions? <laughs> Sorry. All right, cool. No, no, it's okay. Awesome. Same. All right. In that case, I think we can start looking into the three word phrasal verbs. Let's review. Let me see if I'm sharing my audio. All right, cool. Igualmente con esto, please let me know if it's um, if it's uh, getting stuck. We can stop it and we can rewatch it if it's giving any issues. Okay, okay. Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. 
take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Alrighty, so before we review the rest of the video, I want to do two things. So, bueno, primero, um, were you able to hear it? Did it get stuck? Hello. Sorry. Hello. I think Hello. I got disconnected because Hello. of my connection. Can you hear me now? Yes. No, yes. Hear me. yes. 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 And were you able to listen to the whole video? No. 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 Uh, when did it stop or where did we left off? One minute to sting. One minute twisting. Oh yeah, we. Um, but I stopped it and then I started talking. Were you able to hear me? In 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 my case, in in exactly in this time, I can uh, I can hear hear you more. Okay, no worries. So um, I stopped the video here. Uh, so that we could do an exercise. But before this, uh, we listened to all of the sentences. Were you able to listen to the eight sentences? No, just uh, no. number six. Oh, okay. All number right. Six. Let's listen to them again. Let's listen and then we will do an exercise. Okay. Take care of. <laughs> Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. <laughs> my doctor says I'm overweight. <laughs> I <should get> down <laughs> Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. All right. Now we did listen to the eight of them, right? Were you able to listen to the eight uh, phrasal verbs? To the eight sentences? But, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Cool. Nice. All righty. So what we are going to do now is uh, we will have some volunteers. We will do a practice, vocabulary practice and talking <laughs> practice. And I will have these volunteers read each of the sentences and then together we will try to okay. explain uh, what the phrasal verb means. So what does breaking up with or broken up with mean in English? So let's try to define it using English. All right, so who wants to read number one? I. Okay. okay. Who was that? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. 
uh, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Thank you so much. So broken every, up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have to define the the expression, the phrasal verb, or yes, please. together. Yeah, go ahead. Define yeah. it in English. Okay, broken up with is that she doesn't continue with her his her relationship with her boyfriend. That's right. That's exactly what it means. They don't continue with their relationship. They end their relationship. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Alrighty, that was awesome. What about number two? Who wants to do number two? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Number two, Kevin came up with a great idea for our class. Re reunion. Uh, basically, the mean of this about the first is to produce a special, especially in dealing with a problem or a child a challenge, came up with a solution. So, instead of using coming up, what other word could you use instead of coming up with a solution? What other word could you use instead of came up or coming up? Mm. Wake up, you say? Yeah. Wake up, yeah. Wake up? With the number two. Yes, for number two. Uh, maybe will be that uh, someone have a good idea, suddenly have a good idea. Exactly, as simple as that. Thank you so much. So Kevin has a good idea for a class reunion, right? Kevin created a good idea. Kevin had a good idea. Excellent. That's great. Thank you. Or give an, an, another opinion about that. Yeah, Kevin had a, an opinion, or Kevin created an idea or an opinion for a class reading. All righty. Let's do number three. Who wants to do number three? Uh, uh, me, Tisha, or Jose? Yeah, go ahead, please. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. Um, in this case, I think that uh, the, the people it was, it was writing maybe, but uh, it's not um, work, uh, professionality, uh, maybe some wrong when typing. Okay, and specifically for looking forward to, if I say that I'm looking forward to something, I'm looking forward to um, having my vacation, for example, what does looking forward to mean? A desire. A desire, all right, what else? Stay focused on something. That you're focusing on something, all right. So yes, so if I say that I'm looking forward, is that I'm excited about it. I've been planning for it, so I really want it to happen, right? I'm happy to have that happen. Thank you, everyone. All righty. Let's do number four. Who wants to read and define number four? Me. And I. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Why? Okay. Uh, my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty food. Uh, I think uh, she or he doesn't eat fat, fatty food. Yeah, so no she should. 
she should or he should uh, not eat fatty foods anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Stop eating fatty foods. Yes, should no, no pizza, no hamburguesa, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> None of that. No pupusas, also sorry. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yes, that's right. We could say for cut down. So, mm -hmm. as stop. Oh. Uh, in this case, we're talking about eating. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. stop eating as much, or cut down. You could also say reduce, right? Reduce fatty mm -hmm. foods. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All righty. Now you can do number five, Alexander. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rob can keep up with the students in his modeling class. He should get a, a tutor, a tutor. Um, but in that case, Rob, Rob is a, a teacher or he is a classmate? He's a student. He's a student. Okay. In that case, okay. If, uh, Rob, he have a money, okay? Pay a tutor because it's maybe they need more, um, they need focus, but maybe the noise or the class may uh, confuse or, or et cetera. I don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So what does uh, the fact that he can't keep up with, what does keep up with mean? What does that mean? Uh, maybe uh, Rob uh, is not. Uh, maybe uh, he can't stay with the classmate because the noise of the classmate maybe uh, um, interrupt, interrupting or like that. Right. So he can't stay right. at the same level, right? Okay. Exactly. That's right. So if I'm saying that I can't keep up. Staying mm -hmm. at the same level, okay, or at the same pace, right? Mm -hmm. So keeping uh, up, being okay. able to follow up with everyone. Okay. Alrighty, thank you so much. Okay. Let's do number six. Who wants to help me read and define number six? I can put up with the noisy on my street. I'll have to move. And what does put up with mean? I can't put up with the noise on my street. It's like that. I can support the noise. Uh, I can stand, right? Stand. 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 Put up with. Una buena alternativa sería stand. I yeah. can't stand the noise on my street. Mm -hmm. I don't have the patience mm -hmm. for the noise on my street. Thank you so much, Anna. Alrighty. Number seven, who wants to read and define it? Hey, I teacher. Yes, please. Uh, my girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They are always fighting. Uh, it could be um, my girlfriend uh, doesn't have a good relationship with her roommate because they always are fighting. That is exactly what I was thinking, Sergio. You read my mind. That is perfect. She doesn't have a good relationship with her roommate. Right? That's excellent. That's how I would define it, right? They don't have a good relationship. They don't get along. They don't have a good relationship. They crash, right? Perfect. And the last one, number eight. Bill can't take care of his own finances. Whoops, sorry about the noise. <laughs> Who wants to read number eight while I mute my microphone? Okay. Me, Me teacher. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Bill can't uh, take care of his own finance. He has an accountant manage his money. Uh, in this case, 
I, uh, the meaning is um, that Bill can't control uh, his expenses. Exactly, that is absolutely right. Bill can't control his own expenses or his own finances. That's, yeah. you, did, you did it two times because expenses is a good word for finances too. So that's awesome. So yeah. he can't control, he can't manage, you could also say. Excellent, Ivania, thank you so much. Okay. All righty, so Teacher. does anyone, yes. I have a thought about two words in that phrase of bears in this example, in this eighth example. The two words, it's what is the pronunciation, the real pronunciation about reunion, and the other words, it's, um, let me see, tutor, tutor, tutor. I don't know sure. what is the good, the good pronunciation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ami. So, reunion. La reunión, right? <laughs> Meeting. Oops. Sorry. One second. One second. Sorry about that. Okay. I think he's good. His name is Bobby. In case you want to know, my dog's name is Bobby. He makes a lot of noise. We'll excuse him. Okay. Okay. Bobby, he, relax, please. <laughs> he, need, he really needs to relax. He really needs to relax. All righty. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the correct pronunciation is reunion. Kind of if you were saying reunion. Okay. Right? Reunion. okay. reunion. And this is a meeting, get together, a reunion. Yeah. Reunion. Yeah, yeah kind of like that. Reunion. Okay. And then tutor. tutor. I don't really know to. Tutor. Or kind of like that, tutor. Okay, tutor. Exactly. Okay, tutor, reunion, tutor, okay. That's right, so reunion and tutor. Again, again, I keep repeating this. Se los recuerdo. This pronunciation is North American accent. You could yeah. go to Europe and they will say tutor or tutor, right? Mm -hmm. So. It's okay if you say tutor, that's fine. It's good, it's great. Um, I say tutor, you can say tutor, that's fine. It's okay. okay. In British, tutor, I don't know. Yeah, you could <laughs> say tutor, like that's fine. <laughs> okay. All righty, any other questions that uh, anyone might have on this section? No. All good? Yes, it's good. Ready, perfect. In that case, let's review what else we have for today. We also want to start <coughs> reviewing how to make suggestions. So we only have a couple, no, we have more than a couple minutes left. We have about six minutes left. So what I want to do is I want to get this topic started, we are going to start reviewing this um, 4.5 topic reviewed about suggestions by watching the introduction video. And then we will continue developing or working the topic tomorrow, but I want to start reviewing the video. All right. Okay. Cool. Let me nice. See if Thank you. Cool. All right. Here we go. Hi. Let's begin by asking some questions. When, where, and how did you meet your wife, husband, or that special someone? Type your answers on our discussion box. As well, I want you to listen to the conversation and find out what Mike suggests James to do. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? 
A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah. If I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. <laughs> All righty. So we have opened up the topic of suggestions with a conversation. So are there any words here in this conversation that you don't know or that you've never heard? Are we good? Mm. For me, it's, it's okay. It's no new world. Perfect. All right. So let's look at the because, question. Yes. Um, check out is another phrasal verb. Check out. That could be a phrasal verb. That's right. Check out. That could be a phrasal verb, Ivania. Yes. Okay. So check out. It would be a good idea to check out. What do you think that is? Anyone? What do you think uh, checking out means in this context? Like look? Maybe, sir. Take a look or? Yes, to take a look into, to review the discussion groups, take a look into the discussion groups at the bookstore. Exactly. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. All right. And just before we go, let's take a look at the questions that trigger suggestions. So triggering, que causan sugerencias, right? Questions that trigger suggestions. When someone asks, what can I do? For example, they are asking for my advice or they're asking for your advice, right? If someone tells me, hey, what they tell me about their problem and what can I do? They're asking a solution or a suggestion from me. So mm -hmm. what can I do? And you proceed to provide some sort of um, answer or recommendation, right? Why don't you is a word, mm -hmm. let's use a different color. This would be the mm -hmm. start of a suggestion. Why don't you, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? as a solution to the problem that you're bringing up, right? Mm -hmm. It might be a good idea too. Another way to deliver a suggestion or a solution, right? What about, here we have another one. What about looking uh, through the personal ads? What about searching online? What about, and they are interchangeable, right? Se pueden intercambiar. Yo podría decir en esta sección. Also, what about checking out those discussion groups at the bookstore, right? Or I could say, mm -hmm. it might be a good idea to look through the personal ads on the internet. Pero si vemos que cambia un poquito la conjugación, right? When is it going to be... Mm -hmm an infinitive verb, when, when am I going to use ing? We will review that tomorrow. En el mismo canal a la misma hora. Alrighty. Okay. So we will stop there for today because it is time for us to go. So we will start, uh, we will stop there right now. And tomorrow we will continue with suggestions and phrasal verbs. We will combine the topics, how you can provide solutions to the problems using phrasal verbs, or how you can ask for help or ask for suggestions. All right? Okay. Don't forget. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you, teacher.